It, it is so impressive to see so many people here tonight and to see you all get so quiet so quickly. That is impressive. Um, it's really an honor to be here tonight to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of the World Policy Institute. Um, I was thinking about it today as I was coming over, and I've had, I've learned from and worked with uh, and had the pleasure of uh, reading so much of the good work produced by the Institute for at least half, a little more than half, of those 50 years. And I see at the table right here, Arch Gillies, who's the president of the World Policy Institute back in the 1980s, when I was most intensely involved, along with Sheryl Schwenninger, who was the idea generator for the Institute for so much of that time. And uh, I can say from personal experience how much of a difference uh, the World Policy Institute and the World Policy Journal have made, uh, especially for me, as I was saying in that time in President Clinton's campaign. Sheryl and Arch and everyone involved at the Institute had really taken it upon themselves uh, through a couple of critical projects to help create a progressive security policy for a new world, the Security Project and the American Priorities Project. And through that work, they really developed the ideas that economic and security and national security uh, are inextricable. They must go hand in hand. So many of the themes that uh, Bill Clinton especially, but Democrats uh, have used uh, in the succeeding 25 years to formulate uh, their ideas on national security and economic security and how important uh, it is in this new world to know that we can never be strong abroad unless we are strong at home, unless we have our priorities straight. And you know, this work, which also included the work of Robert Reich and Stan Greenberg, who still I know works with Arch today, really was distilled into uh, what became probably the most well-known slogan uh, of the 1992 campaign, The Economy Stupid, by my friend James Carville. Uh, but it took an awful lot of work uh, to get there, and it has been an enduring legacy of the Institute, one I am proud to have been associated with. Um, that work continues today under the leadership of Michelle Walker, who I want to introduce right now, the president of the World Policy Institute. Her first article uh, in the World Policy Journal in 1996 led to her first book, Why the Cox Fight, which was published in 1999. She joined WPI as a fellow in 2000 and became executive director in 2007, president in 2009. And as I understand it, this is your first major dinner, this 50th anniversary dinner. So welcome, come introduce. And of first, for actually being, being introduced by George Stephanopoulos, who I'm, I'm such a, a huge fan of. Um, it, it seems a bit, uh, Redundant to to introduce him at all, but I'll just say <laughs> say uh, very very briefly. You know him for his his smart political analysis, his sol solid grounding in policy, and his real thought leadership uh, over time uh, from a really really sensible, constructive place, which is something that's so cherished today in a lot of the poisonous uh, media environment we see out there, really from from both sides of the political spectrum. Um, he's ABC's chief political correspondent, um, anchored ABC's This Week from 2002 to 2010, uh, came back uh, recently, which we're very happy about. Um, he's uh, author of All Too Human, about the first Clinton administration in which he served. He's also a professor at uh, Columbia University, um, his alma mater. And um, we just, we just could not be happier to have him here, particularly since he knew the Institute at such an important time in our history, at such a pivotal time of change for the whole world, not just the United States. Um, in a few minutes, we'll have him introduce, and uh, he'll introduce our, our three honorees who we're very, very happy to have with us here tonight. He'll moderate a discussion with them about some of their work, which we feel exemplifies some of the core values of the World Policy Institute, a sustainable global economy, vibrant democracy, and security defined broadly 